This lesson will cover the following topics. Components and operating principles. The sequential gearbox system is composed of the following components. Gearbox with hydraulic control unit. Clutch, which provides the connection between engine and gearbox. And drive shafts to transmit movement to the wheels. This lesson will not deal with the clutch and gears part of the gearbox. Only the management of the ratios and the hydraulic unit will be covered. A sequential gearbox is a conventional manual gearbox fitted with an electrohydraulic unit. The electrohydraulic unit operates the clutch, selects and engages the gears automatically. To make way for the mounting of the electrohydraulic unit, the external manual gearbox controls have been moved. The electrohydraulic unit of the sequential gearbox is composed of the following components. Electric pump unit, which pressurizes the fluid. Actuator module, which operates the clutch, selects and engages the gears. And a clutch fluid reservoir. The electric pump unit generates the pressure required to operate the hydraulic components and includes the following components. Gear pump driven by an electric motor. Pressure accumulator. A reservoir. And a pressure sensor. Let us look at the operation of the electric pump unit in more detail. The gear pump, driven by an electric motor, draws fluid from the reservoir and generates the pressure required to pressurize the accumulator. The fluid under pressure pushes on the accumulator diaphragm and compresses the nitrogen behind the diaphragm. The accumulator thus absorbs the pump pulses and keeps the pressure in the hydraulic circuit constant. When the pump stops, a valve prevents the fluid re-entering the pump. The nitrogen in the accumulator expands and restores the accumulated pressure. When the pressure sensor indicates that the pressure in the circuit is not sufficient, the cycle starts again. To protect the circuit from any contamination, the hydraulic fluid is filtered upstream and downstream from the pump. The actuator module operates the clutch, selects and engages the gears. These operations are carried out by the following components. Clutch cylinder, which sends the pressure to the hydraulic clutch thrust bearing. Selection cylinder and engagement cylinder. The cylinders are supplied by dedicated solenoid valves for each function. A sensor mounted on the end of each cylinder informs the sequential gearbox computer of its respective position. Now let us look at how the various selection and engagement solenoid valves and cylinders are controlled. The selection cylinder moves the selector shaft longitudinally to the required position. The engagement cylinder moves vertically to engage one of the two gears on the selection line. The default selection line includes the first and second gears and the neutral position. Then all that is required is to engage the gear. For first gear, only the first engagement solenoid valve is supplied to produce an upward movement. Conversely, second gear is obtained by supplying the other solenoid valve, which pushes the cylinder downwards. The neutral position is obtained by the simultaneous opening of both engagement solenoid valves. Selecting the other gears requires the selection cylinder to be supplied, then the engagement cylinder. The sequential gearbox computer receives signals from various sensors and computers and determines the operating programming. The computer manages the following functions. Instrument panel display, engine torque management, and control of the various sequential gearbox actuators. Now let us look at the operation of the system during starting. After switching on the ignition, the driver presses the brake pedal. The brake pedal switch signal is transmitted to the sequential gearbox computer 
which authorizes engine starting via the UCH. At the same time, the computer orders an automatic return to the neutral position if a gear is engaged. To get the vehicle to pull away, the driver must push the lever forwards to request the engagement of first gear. The gear lever switch transmits the signal to the computer. The computer then operates the clutch and engagement solenoid valves to engage first gear. When the brake pedal is released, and even before the driver presses the accelerator pedal, the computer authorizes the vehicle to move at idle speed. Next, let us see how reverse gear is selected. When the driver wants to select reverse gear, the gear lever switch transmits the signal to the computer. The computer checks that the vehicle speed is zero. The computer then activates the clutch cylinder solenoid valve to uncouple the gearbox from the engine. Finally, the activation of the selection and engagement cylinder solenoid valves enables reverse gear to be selected. We will now do some exercises before we continue. Which signals are transmitted to the sequential gearbox computer via the multiplex network? Which functions are automated by the electrohydraulic unit? In this section, we covered the following points. The sequential gearbox system is composed of a clutch, gearbox and drive shafts. A sequential gearbox is a conventional manual gearbox fitted with an electrohydraulic unit. The electrohydraulic unit includes an electric pump unit, actuator module and clutch fluid reservoir. The electric pump unit generates the pressure required to operate the hydraulic components. The actuator module operates the clutch, selects and engages the gears. The selection cylinder selects a selector shaft and the engagement cylinder engages one of the two gears on the selection line. The brake pedal switch signal is transmitted to the sequential gearbox computer which authorizes engine starting. When the driver wants to select reverse gear, the computer checks that the vehicle speed is zero.